Today, we're in my apartment and I'm gonna show you how to do my travel workout routine. Hey, my name's Chesley Chris and you're watching Hot Girl Style Home Edition. Obviously, I don't need this routine as much since we're not traveling during the pandemic, but it is nice to have a workout routine I can do at home with very little to no equipment that's quick, easy, um, and easy for me to get through. So there are two components to the routine. The first component is doing some form of cardio, and the second component is doing 600 abs. I usually don't do heavy lifting. I know a lot of people like to do heavy lifting or think that heavy lifting is important to their body shape, and, and that certainly may work for them. Uh, for me, <laughs> I build muscle very easily. In fact, I don't work out my arms at all and I still have pretty defined and toned shoulders. Like, I don't do push-ups, I do nothing to my arms except for cardio and 600 abs. I usually run anywhere from three to six miles nowadays. Um, today, I'm aiming for about six and a half miles. You can do elliptical, you can do jump rope in your home, you can look up hit routines, whatever works best for your body. Just get your heart rate up, make sure that you're burning some calories and getting your body moving. All right, so this is me running in Central Park. I love it because there's so many runners there. It is nice to feel that community around you. I did about six and a half-ish miles. Burned a bunch of calories. I burned almost 650 calories total. It was a great start to my routine. So after I got back from doing my run, um, I, I, I just lay on the ground for a while <laughs> so I can catch my breath. So I start off with my run. I do some stretching when I get back. Uh, and now that I've done all of that, it's time for 600 abs. So what I do with 600 abs is I break down the workout between four different types of abdominal um, movements. Now you can do any different types that you want, you just have to do 600, but I end up doing the same four because I don't like having to make up a workout every day. I do each of these four different movements. I do 50 reps of each movement, and then I do um, the whole set three times. So I start off with regular crunches. I roll over to my side, I do 50 side crunches. I back to my back and I do 50 butt lifts and then I roll to my other side and do 50 side crunches. So that together is 200 reps of that. And I do that whole set three times to get to 600. Usually the 600 abs takes me uh, between, you know, seven to 12 minutes, depending on how quickly I'm running through everything. Uh, but, uh, so you're gonna actually see how long it actually takes me. And I'll show you a little bit of the movements while I'm going through them. Great, get ready to watch. So like I said, I usually start off with 50 reps of regular crunches. So I'm either going to do regular crunches like this with my legs down or you can do crunches like this with your legs at an angle or if you really want to work out those abs you can lift your legs like this and do 50 crunches this way whatever it is i like to do this because i feel like i end up feeling and seeing um, my actual workout down into like my lower abs right around here which i really like so i keep my legs down All right so time for 50. Go. The key to doing regular crunches the correct way is making sure that um, you're holding your um, hands either behind your head, lightly not pushing your head forward because you'll get a lot of neck pain, um, or you can hold your hands across your chest, That's, that also works. Um, but the key is making sure that you get your shoulder blades off of the ground, otherwise you're not crunching hard enough. Woo. All right, so that's 50. I'm going to immediately roll over to my side and do 50 side crunches. While you're doing the 600 abs, don't take breaks in between because you're giving your muscles the opportunity to recover. You don't really want that if you're doing your 600 abs. You wanna immediately go into it so that you're not giving your muscles very much time to recover and you get a better, stronger, more intense workout. But obviously, if you're just starting out, 600 abs is kind of hard to do, so feel free to take a little bit of break in between each of the giant sets. So, all right, so side crunches. I usually hold, if I'm on my right side, I'm holding my left arm right here on my hip. Um, my right arm is behind my head, not pushing my head, just resting behind it. And I'm actually going to crunch up so that I feel um, a tightness right here in the side of my midsection. Um, you're really gonna work your obliques in this side of your um, body. 
which is great for me because then when I'm like flexing or when I'm wearing like crop tops or whatever, it's nice to see these little muscles right here because this is what you're targeting. All right, so I'm, all I'm gonna do is crunch up like this. Again, your aim is to get your shoulder blades off of the ground. And we're gonna do 50 of these. All right, you ready? Let's go. When I was in college, I ran division one track and field. Our weight room coaches wanted us to do 1200 abs every day, 1200 reps, which was a lot. When I woke up each morning, I would do 600. And then after our workout, um, closer to the end of the day, I would do another 600. When I left college, went to law school and started competing in pageants, I still wanted to do ab exercises, but I, there was no need for me to do 1200. And so I just kept doing my 600 instead. All right, we've got 50. Let's roll over to our back again. Uh, now we're going to do 50 butt lifts. Uh, for your 50 butt lifts, you're going to bring your legs upward so that your body is at a right angle. And just like the, just like the movement says, you're going to lift your butt up. Now this may be very difficult if you've never done butt lifts before. Your aim is to make sure that you're not bringing your um, legs so far above your body that you're not really getting a lower ab workout. But if this is your first time doing it and you're struggling a little bit, it's okay to bring them in just a little bit so that you can actually push your butt up. But again, the aim is to eventually get to a right angle so that you can push your butt up just like this and target your lower abs. You're gonna do that 50 times. These usually go pretty quick. Let's go. I've actually done these abs while scrolling on my phone. I would show you, but you know, obviously I'm recording on my phone right now. But that's how um, semi-automatic it has become for me. That's why I do the same ones every day because I don't have to think about it. It's just like, you know, I do my crunches and then immediately I roll over to one side and I do the side crunches and then immediately I roll back to the middle. I do my butt lifts and then back to the other side and then I do it three times. I barely have to like pay attention to what I'm doing because I do it so much. Whew, we're gonna roll to our other side. Now that I'm on my other side, we're going to do 50 side crunches on the other side. Right now I'm laying on my left side. I'm gonna put my left arm behind my head, right arm on my, on my hip, and same as we did for the other side. Just going to crunch upwards while you're on your side, working on this side part of your midsection. 50 reps, let's do it. And then I've walked you through each of those different movements. I'm gonna finish up my 600 abs because I have 400 more to go. This time I'm gonna turn my watch on, so I'll actually be tracking my calories and I'll be tracking how long this will actually take me um, for the rest of the 400 reps. So I'll let you guys know how long it actually takes me. Um, and then uh, hopefully you'll get like a little ab burning when you're, when you're doing this workout too. All right, so let's do it. Okay, we just finished, or I just finished doing the 600 abs. Um, I kept my watch going for the latter 400 reps. And as you can see, those 400 reps took me five minutes. I burned 22 total calories, 16 active calories during that time. So if we, you know, pull that through to the rest of the abs, the 200 reps that we did beforehand, um, 600 abs would usually take me, or would have taken me this session, um, about seven and a half minutes, and I would have burned about 30 calories or so. So obviously these 600 abs are not a big calorie burner uh, because really what you wanna make sure that you're doing is a full workout and not just the abs themselves because there are other factors that affect whether or not you can actually see your abs or see your six pack that you're building. And that includes you know, making sure that you're in a calorie deficit um, by you know, changing what you eat, changing the rest of your workout, uh, and making sure that you understand what's going on with your own body and make a workout that's really tailored for you. But this is the one that I do and then the one that works the best for me. I hope you guys will try the 600 abs and the um, additional cardio or you know weightlifting component. And if you do, please post about it, tag me, tag DT, so that we can see you guys following along. I love seeing when people try my 600 abs. In fact, I keep a highlight on my Instagram story of me doing 600 abs, instructing you about the 600 abs, and other people trying it as well. Hey, this is Chesley Chris, and I hope you enjoyed watching my travel workout routine. This is Hot Girl Style, Home Edition.